Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Shelby and I'm Charlie and together we are Babes, Babes and, and Barbells. So today we will be talking about something a little bit different. This is not a workout, nor is it donuts. Um, so today we actually, Charlie wrote a blog post for our website. If you have not visited it, it's babesandbarbells.com. Nice and easy, simple. simple, check it out. So this blog post is about five tips to reduce phone calls, phone calls. <laughs> so sorry about that. I had a phone call and my computer is on and it's sitting next to us. Anyways. Okay. So this blog post is about five ways to reduce your plastic intake. Charlie, take it over. <laughs> okay. So this is her more her my realm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm yeah, I dig this stuff. So anything like environmental you can come to me about. Um, only not that I'm not. Yeah, I spread my ways. We we do these things together. We live together. Also makes it a little easier. Uh, but it's nice, short and simple. We've got five tips here. Uh, forewarning you, I'm about to stand up, and I just have sweatpants on. Um, we're like chilling on the house, so like I put on a sweater, but I'm in sweatpants. Um, so number one tip is, and I feel like this one's really obvious, um, but go to the grocery store with your own bags. Um, if you don't already, like what are what. Where are you living? What are you doing with your life? Um, so this is what I'm talking about. Nice, simple. I got a Trader Joe's bag here. Um, we have about a thousand of them. No joke. Leave them in your car if you're like us and sometimes forget to grab them on your way out. So if you always have some in your car, you can't have an excuse to use the plastic bags they give you. Also, depending on where you live, they charge you for bags now, which is very good. So yeah, but we live in Boston, as we said, if you watched our um, other YouTube videos and they just passed a law, I think a couple of weeks ago, yeah. that they're charging, I think it's 10 cents, but still that's money. And um, if you don't bring your own bag. Then also, um, besides them not being plastic, we live on the second floor, which isn't a big deal, but there's no elevators or nothing like that. Third this is so much like, then so carrying much like a yeah, bunch of bags on your arms. arms. It's These terrible. are bigger, usually way bigger, and you can put more stuff in them. So two of these big bags versus like 800 plastic bags on all your arms. Come on, guys. Easy peasy. So not as obvious. You probably don't own these. If you do, you should go on Amazon right after you finish watching this video and get these. These are just produce bags. They come in all different sizes. So I just happened to grab two of our biggest ones. I could have gotten smaller ones. Um, but so like if you're going and getting say Brussels sprouts or green beans and you have the choice of buying it pre-packaged in a plastic bag or you can go and pick it yourself and put it in one of those plastic bags that they supply at the store, you wouldn't have to do that. You can use one of your own little produce bags or maybe you're weird and have to put your apples all in a bag. Don't do that. I don't do that. But um, you could throw them all in here if mm -hmm. you needed to or maybe you want to put your bananas in here. Also kind of weird because they're covered but... You do but you, fam. Yeah. You get these. They're like our bulk section. Oh yeah, yeah. We get if like bulk, our rice, put yeah, oats, oatmeal, rice dates, beans, whatever. Yeah. If you do bulk, these, these are great. Yeah. Um, and a lot of like places if you're worried about like what they're gonna think of you like they don't care. You still no. put your price thing on the front of it. And yeah. Or you can just like take notes in your phone and like write down the VIN number, VIN number, VIN numbers VIN. for cars. It is. Bin? I don't know. <laughs> you write down the number that's on the bulk section thing, like in your phone, so you know, like, oh, oats are five seven four two one or whatever. We're educated, we swear. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm, I am getting a degree here, um, but yeah. yeah. So Bags. do that. They'll they'll like you for it. It's fine. Um, won't judge you. You can also. We're about to dock. I'll go to that one next. Um, peanut butter. So you know we love peanut butter. Favorite company's peanut butter is Teddy's. Um, luckily for us, Teddy's comes in a glass jar. So pay attention when you're buying things like this. So like salad dressings, I grabbed just like random things from our fridge. This is some barbecue sauce, also in glass. We've got some coconut aminos, AKA soy sauce in glass. Um, so just be a conscious consumer when buying things like this. Also, these are great. If you do overnight oats, we have like a whole stack of them up there, um, left over in these jars. We keep them. So yeah. yeah, that comes in handy, dual purpose. One more thing. <laughs> so if you're doing bulk also, and you don't want to buy from like a company like Teddy's, you can take your old 
not Teddy's jar because you wouldn't have bought Teddy's, um, but a mason jar, you can get it weighed by wherever you're at, Lucky's or Whole Foods or whatever, and they'll write on your jar how much it weighs and then you could go fill it up with stuff. So like I do that when I'm in Florida, all of my mason jars there have like little Sharpie numbers on the top of them, how much they weigh. So you could do your little peanut butter push and or your nutritional yeast, whatever. Um, what do we got next? So the third one is yeah. bring your own cup. Yeah. Pretty simple. Um, if you don't make coffee at home, which not everybody does, um, make sure you have a coffee mug or if you still drink pop in this, don't do that either. But if you do um, and you're going to McDonald's, still not judging, <laughs> um, bring your own cup. They'll fill it up for you. Um, you can tell them a size so like you don't have to get this large of a cup. Chick-fil-A won't though, right? No, Chick-fil-A will not. not. We noticed that while traveling. Um, they will only give it to you in a cup. So, um, let's- But Starbucks, they give you a discount. And you get a discount, yes. So um, bring your own cup, Starbucks will give you a discount. Little things, put these in your backpack or in your car if you have a car or whatever you travel with, a purse, briefcase, um, silverware, utensils, always handy to have with you whenever. And this is a reusable straw. It's metal. Not everybody likes to drink out of metal, but they make them out of other things. Yeah. Um, and they're fine. Um, they were like five dollars for a pack of, I think, six or something. Six. Yeah. So okay. not bad. Amazon. <laughs> uh, so next. Number four. Okay. All right. So conscious consumer, okay. I was saying like, make sure you use glass bottles. Um, beauty products, most of them come in plastic. Got to be completely honest. <laughs> Bless you. I'm sorry. Um, it's not as easy like when you're in the grocery store, you can buy the salad dressing that's an Italian vinaigrette in a plastic bottle or the glass. That's an easy choice. Um, beauty products, not a lot of them come in glass. So I am recommending to you to go to places like Lush um, where they sell no packaging things, unpackaged, plastic free, whatever you want yeah. to call it. So here I have a fresh bar of hair conditioner. Um, this one is purple, it's for blonde hair, even though my hair's orange. It's fine. Um, she could use it. She's got. I actually hair. have one. Yeah. Yeah. They're have in one. our. They're in our, our fridge right now. I'm hungry. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, bar of soap. Bar of soap instead of a bottle of Dove or whatever you use now. Um, yeah. So that's pretty simple. Um, makeup also is mostly in plastic, but some higher end I know come in glass. Like, yeah. So just weigh the options. If you can afford the glass yeah. packaged thing or unpackaged thing, go for it. Some of your Georgina um, foundations do. Come in glass. Yeah. Okay. Or like, yeah. Anyways, Anyways just be, yeah. be aware of what your beauty products come in. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Number five. Number five. Last Has, one. This should have gone second with like the, the bag shopping <laughs> stuff. Um, so if you commute to wherever you work or school or whatever you do with your life um, and you pack a lunch. Yes. These are awesome. So good. They're literally $3.99 for four of them. You get two small ones, two big ones. TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. You can also get them on Amazon, a bunch of different companies. Like I bought my mom some new ones for Christmas. Um, Stasher bag is like the popular one. Really expensive though. Really expensive. Your girl can't afford it. No. So. If you're on a budget and also trying to save the earth, use these guys. Um, snackers, perfect for snackers. We're literally snacks, so it's fine. Um, and all you do is like reuse them. So you just wash them out in the sink, leave them open overnight to air dry, and bam. then you put more snacks in them the next day. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, super simple. That's it? Yeah. We hope you guys liked this video. I know it's a little different from what you're used to, and hopefully, we spread more you out. Yeah. <laughs> knowledge on reducing plastic intake. I think that's it for us. <laughs> We're very awkward. It's fine. Um, so, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, and if you have any suggestions or any questions about any of this stuff, um, other ways, I have a lot of things up my sleeve. <laughs> they're not tricks. I was going to say that, but they're not tricks. <laughs> tips. I have a lot of
that tips up my sleeve. So just ask away. And yeah, we'll That's see it. you next time. This is Babes and Barbells. <laughs>